guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you right now. I am on the verge of a mental breakdown. It's just been a really rough week for me. Work has just been really stressful. You get in those moods where you're just like, yeah, I want to quit. Like, I'm. why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through this stress, you know? Yeah, it's the, been one of those weeks. It's the first week of the new year. And I don't know why this year I felt so, I feel so much pressure I don't know why you have to make this the best year you know you have to stop doing this and this and this and you have to start doing this and this and this so that you can improve your life and you can make your life so much better and like granted yes you should set goals and i'm still gonna do that i already did and i you know i'm still gonna manifest that this year is a good year but also you don't have to like change up your whole life kind of got um to me a little bit and like with work it just isn't mixing well so i'm like you know what take a step back breathe a little bit because you're doing great it's gonna be just be hanging out me and you and having a self-care day i want to go to barnes and noble just relax a little bit i really want to go thrifting thrifting is like very therapeutic to me and i haven't gone in a little bit so hopefully we could do that definitely just like a skincare at the end of the night and we'll see what we'll do but let's at least make today good reset this bad week that i've been having get out of this slump and yeah <laughs> I just spent like an hour at Barnes and Noble and it was really really packed so I didn't even get to like sit down and read my book but that's okay because it was still like super relaxing just looking at all the books firstly I got this your five minute journal not like the typical five minute journal that I've seen online find gratitude and de-stress with simple daily exercises really really want to journal this year but i don't know what a journal about right so i really wanted something that had prompts and they had a lot of really really good ones that i just wanted to buy all of them but then i'm like you really just need one for the year you know type of thing really cute has a bunch of different little prompts each day and i like that they're different because i saw a lot of ones that have the same prompt every day and i didn't like that plus it was on sale so really really good and then while i was looking for that our love story a guided journal to learn more about each other so it's basically a journal for you and your partner both of you get to answer the question there's like the very first time i saw you i thought and then both of you get to like write in your answers or like i grew up thinking love was about a moment in my life i wish you were by my side if this happened we would have never met just like super cute questions two little bookmarks so that my plan was to like put them in the journal so i know like where i'm at and this one says shoot for the moon even if you miss it you will land among the stars so cute this is going in the love one because that's a cute little saying then this one says she believed she could so she did and this one i'm gonna put in my journal and yeah, I'm just like really happy with what I got. I'm gonna go to Goodwill maybe and kind of just walk around there and then just go home after. I don't know. You'll see. <laughs> came in the mail 
I'm so excited. So, so if you don't know, I went to go see Morgan Wallen last year and I really, really, really wanted cowgirl boots, but I had already dropped so much money on the tickets and I just could not see myself dropping another $200 on boots, right? But then I went and every girl was full out you know, fitting the vibe. And I just felt like, okay, the next concert I go to, I'm getting cowgirl boots. So now we're in real time. I'm actually gonna go see Morgan again. Play the clips here right after showing you guys my boots of like the whole fiasco of buying Morgan Waller in tickets because let me tell you, it was a whole two day fiasco. I never thought in a million years that I would be a girl with cowgirl boots. Let me just say, look how pretty these are. Look at me. Look how cute these are. one away one person away thank you for your patience it's almost your turn oh my god we're in we are in <gasps> oh my god how much are these a thousand dollars are you kidding me right now which are these 500 375 Oh, should I do it? So it's just telling me to sit tight. Securing my tickets. Oh! With the taxes, are you kidding me? 938. Okay, so we're back day two. It is December 8th. And after a meltdown yesterday, because the ones I was looking at last night were 374, and then for two, it'd be like what, 700 something, but then with a the tax and everything, it was 900 and 38, I think I said. We'll see. I'm basically just taking another look. And if they are not in my price range, then uh, that's fine. That's what I'm trying to tell myself. I've been trying to tell myself all day today like it's okay it's okay it's a lot of money you know you saw him this year which i am really really thankful for i am I'm trying to get like super excited about this because i already i already know oh my god there's a lot of seats there is some cheaper ones my god my god that <laughs> that they did have a bunch more floor seats and they were closer than the ones I saw yesterday, but they were still that 354, 370 price. And like I said, I just am not looking to pay that much for tickets. All right, so I'm gonna start getting ready for bed just because I'm an old grandma and I like to do my routine and be in bed early. I'm just putting my hair out of my face because I hate having my hair in my face when I'm doing my skincare. I'm using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Melting Balm. And I just rub that all over my face to remove any makeup, oil, dirt, or sunscreen that I've been wearing throughout the day. After washing off the balm, I'll go in with my cleanser. And it's really been my go-to cleanser for a while now, and I just love it a lot. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my teeth. I feel so bougie for having an electric toothbrush, because I've never had one of those before. And then I'm testing out this new mouthwash, which I've heard is supposed to be really, really good for your teeth. And so far, I think it's a 10 out of 10. Patting my face dry and then applying my face mask. I haven't done a face mask in a long time and my face just felt like it really needed it. This is the Fresh Clay Purifying Face Mask. I didn't expect it to be green. I thought it was going to be like a charcoal color. But when I took it off, my skin felt really, really nice and clean. 
and I really really loved this and definitely going to be using it again. I'm trying this new night moisturizer. I'm really really loving it so far. First of all, it's really really affordable. It's lightweight, not super thick or heavy, and I think I'm really going to love this one. And then I just hopped into bed and started reading a little bit of my book. This is 99% Mine by Sally Thorne, and then I just went to bed.